Hi everyone, so this video I've been wanting to make for a while. So about a year and a half ago, I filmed a video on ironing patches onto your garments to bump them up and without even expecting it in any way, shape or form as it was one of my first ever videos, it got about, well it's almost on 10,000 views, it's like 9,300 and something and um, the title was like something like DIY iron on patches, it was never my intention to misinform people but I think a few people were commenting that it wasn't DIY patches as in I wasn't making the patches. So obviously like I said it was never my intention of the video to mislead people and also I had no clue that one of my first videos would get that many views. So it completely overwhelmed me to the point where I just kind of stopped filming and I was just like oh what is happening? And but I have since then had it in my mind that I want to do a DIY iron on patch video because it's, it was never that I didn't know how to make them. Um, I just didn't really get the time to film this video. So finally I have and I hope you like it. I've basically done four jumbo patches. Put one on my bag here. And so we've got the moon on the cap and then we've got these two big patches on the shirts. I feel like nowadays, I mean patches have been going on for years now, but I feel like now I'm kind of personally over the whole kind of like let's collage loads of patches all over everywhere kind of vibe. Like, you know, the, like the mixed patches. If it was uniformed, like I'm actually not gonna do one, a floral one coming soon, kind of ready for spring then that's fine. But you know that kind of trend where it's just like, let's get every single random patch and just patch it all over everything. I feel like as nice as that is, I wanted to try something different. So I've tried some jumbo patches where you could literally just iron one onto your garment and it would look super cool. I actually was thinking of just putting the moon on this, but for the sake of this video, I put the H on the other side and I think it really suits, I mean, denim and patches can't really go wrong, can you? So, um, I really hope you like this video and I'm going to show you four ways and let's get going. Okay guys, so what you're going to need is some felt, embroidery thread, scissors, an embroidery loop, needles, bondaweb, some scrap material you want to use, paints, paintbrush, sponge and something to put the paint on and mix it. So just draw an outline of a moon or you can print a moon off and cut it out and use it as a stencil. I actually use a glitter gel pen because it washes off like after you draw it but um, you can just use some chalk, I just couldn't find my chalk. I've used rainbow embroidery pastel thread and I, you just loop it round and round and round along the shape that you drew. Now mark some star shapes so that you can sew some pretty stars in the middle of the moon.
practice sewing before you sew onto your actual patch because it can sometimes be difficult to get uniform zigzag stitch so practice your zigzag stitch figure out what width you want and speed you want and go around obviously you can see as it stretched fabric it was really wrinkly so I pressed it as much as I possibly could but yes please don't use stretch fabric it's very very difficult when you're trying to do an accurate circle if you don't have a sewing machine, then you can do this patch without an outline stitch. So for this satin patch, I've drawn a satin outline. You can actually find one online, maybe just go on Google and search for literally like satin outline. And cut out the circle shape and then do another one for the ring around the circle. Draw the shapes onto the backing of your bonderweb and cut around quite close to the edges, but not along the edges. Get your scrap fabric and iron the shapes onto the back of that and then cut the shapes out. I'm drawing a quick and easy melting slime letter outline. So cut this out and then um, I basically decided to glue the piece of paper onto the back of the fabric just so that it made it easier for me to actually cut out the shape. This is a different technique. I wanted to show you a different technique that doesn't involve bonderweb. I actually use um, a multi-purpose glue which also can be used for fabric as well and it was quite cheap. I think I got it from eBay and it's actually like a kid's craft thing so it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, so just cut that shape out and then once that's done then you can just glue that onto your piece of felt. I've used a brush to reach all of the edges and just make sure that you add a lot of glue and that it's super super strong because like I said this one is an option without the bonder web so it's going to need a lot of glue to keep that strength and that bonding of the two fabrics. So that is it everybody, that is my patch video, I really hope you got something from it. Some of them are easier, some of them are harder. So I found like um, the, so the moon that I painted, I actually chose a scrap fabric that was stretchy and I suggest maybe a thick like denim or a thick, just a thick non-stretch fabric. Felt is perfect, you know you can go to the cheap kind of shops, like even supermarkets, probably just any cheap store and go to the kids section and find some cheap felt. That is perfect for making patches because when I was using the sewing machine around this moon, it was just stretching so much that it ended up wavy and I ironed it for dear life to kind of like um, get rid of the kinks, you know? But this was as good as it could get. So in future when I do this, I am certainly gonna bear that in mind and use a, um, um, yeah, use a non-stretch fabric. Bearing in mind, actually, felt isn't good for 
painting on. So for painting on, I think the best thing that you should, should find is a thick white cotton as a perfect, like almost like a canvas base. And then you can always just iron, we're using the Bondo web, iron it onto a thicker piece of fabric to make it kind of give it that thick patch effect. Um, another note on my Bondo web, this is a very thin, lightweight, delicate Bondo web that I use. Um, you can get thicker ones, which are like no sew ones. This is no sew, I think. I think actually you don't need to sew the patches on after you've ironed them on, but you can get some thick plasticky, really strong bonder wear where it just sticks right onto that garment. If you're a bit worried about the strength of it anyway, regardless, even if it's no sew or not, you can just add a few little tack stitches just on certain points. Shouldn't take more than five minutes. And that is pretty much it. Do let me know if you like this video. Do give me a thumbs up or a subscribe if you like my DIYs because there's plenty more coming. And mess and you can always leave a comment if you have any questions about the patches and I will definitely answer. Have a good day.